I have this old RC flying wing. It's a little battered and nose is a little crumpled. But we're going to take the cyclo rotor and install it in the middle here. And it'll be the world's first cyclo rotor powered fixed wing aircraft. So uh, let's get started. All right. So I stripped the fuselage, well, air quotes, fuselage part of this flying wing. And uh, I laid out some spars. This goes all the way across. And then I'm going to fit this in right here. So now I just got to get the spars and glue it, the spars in. All right. So I got two aluminum spars cut out and glued in. And it's thin-walled aluminum tube, so it's light but strong. I got this just chilling in the middle. There's just enough room so that it doesn't hit the spars. And then to balance out the weight of the motor over here, I'm going to have to put the battery on this side and then run wiring along the spars. So I'll just zip tie them, I guess. All right, so I finished building it, and I have it balanced out, rotor installed, and landing gear on. So the battery, this is somewhat of a sketchy position, but it seems to hold in there. Got the landing gear. Got all the wiring across this aluminum tube, and got the receiver jammed in there. It's all ready to fly, so let's go do it. Well, that wasn't too good. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I think it's something with the belt drive. It just wasn't producing enough thrust. So the thrust should be 250 to 300 grams, and the actual vehicle weight, I just weighed it, is 500 grams. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. So this is the current gear that is on the Psycho Rotor. It is an 80 tooth GT2, and this is has 122 teeth. And that should make the motor be much less loaded and hopefully cause it to be more efficient and I should be able to rev it up higher without this melting. Well, that's it for today. I'll keep working on the rotor and hopefully next video we'll have it flying.